are back on the ship this morning. Got up early, throw my stuff in the bags and headed down and did the express checkout. And uh, I'm taking a lesson from last time and making my bed before we leave port while the ship is just stationary rather than afterward sea when everything is rocking back and forth. We are back on the ship, up on the wheelhouse, and everyone is settling into their bunks, starting to get all their gear ready. It's kind of cool because since we've already done all this before once, everybody sort of has their spots for everything. So preparations this time around are a little less stressful. In order for us to leave the dock, we're going to have to do a little bit of boat shuffling because the Amua, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but the Amua is tied up outside of us. So I'm going to guess that they're going to have to untie that boat and move it out of the way so that we can pull out and head out to sea. And when we leave, We'll go right out that inlet. It looks like the guys are upgrading the scooping nets to, for when we recover the EDR. They are working inside of our shipping container that is lashed down to the deck. Just finish up my pre-flight GPS checks. GPS is functional. Got 14 satellites. It's got my accurate location and turns out this exact spot is an uncontrolled airspace so I can fly here without authorization but if you go just a tiny bit to the west cross that street into that parking lot um, you need authorization to fly there so I already went ahead and did that last night so now I'm gonna do a little bit of a test flight Where, where are we going to store that thing? In the Connex? Yep. Just finished up my flying and recording our departure. And uh, I'm going to go up to the wheelhouse and charge up the batteries and download this footage onto the computer. is Honolulu receding in the distance as we motor off to the east. Now that we're back on the ship and have access to the laundry room, I went ahead and tossed a load of laundry in there first thing as soon as we got on. and That's a week's worth of clothes just put into the dryer. Okay, so I got some really good video of us leaving port. Now it's uploading. And if we look up here, can look out at the ocean things are a little bit bumpier than last time around the swell is bigger a minute ago we had a wave that we went through that was uh, big enough that it splashed water up all the way up here on the, the third deck so here is our snack bar and I was very pleased to see that this time we have a whole 
thing of cashews, which is like my favorite snack. So here is our shipping container. Steve was working on inflating these buoys. And he is currently looking for his cell phone because he thinks he misplaced it. Okay, we have lunch, which is chicken and beef curry on rice. Some, uh, looks like tuna mac salad and regular salad. We're heading towards the back of the ship to check the fishing lines. You can get an idea of how much rougher it is out here today than it was previously. Woo! myself into this stand. Wind is blowing like crazy out here. Woo! This is up on the middle deck, looking back towards the back of the ship. Rocking and rolling out here now. We are hugging the coast of Molokai because they're still trying to catch fish. Hopefully we can get something since we're so close. Boy, the wind is blowing. Big waves out here. Sure is pretty. Looks like Captain was just back at the back checking on the status of our fishing lines. Ooh, isn't that pretty? We're still cruising by the islands. For supper tonight we have meatloaf, potatoes, salad, and the meatloaf has a hard boiled egg in the middle of it. Alright, it's after supper. We're up here in the wheelhouse checking out the full moon. There it is up there. We're supposed to get the lunar eclipse tonight, so that'll be cool to see.